Saludos de The King. Uh, quiero que sepan que nosotros somos una comunidad de todas las culturas y uh, queremos bienvenir, bienvenidos a todo el mundo. Gracias. Well, good morning. I'm Keita Pottinger. I'm the new principal here at the Martin Luther King School. Happy Friday. At this point, we want to make a couple of brief announcements this morning. Um, I'm really excited as a first year principal to be welcomed into the King community. Um, one of the things that I enjoy most about being here as a new principal um, is the fact that the King School is a part of the community. We've increased from 400 students this year to 515 students. So that's a very, very exciting piece and that the diversity in that student population comes from an increase at all levels. We're K through eight school. So we increased this year and got a new kindergarten classroom in K2 to support a growing need in the city for kindergarten classrooms, as well as at the elementary level, we took in two additional classrooms. So we've been uh, supporting again, the growth in the city in terms of uh, parents wanting options here in their neighborhood. All schools are required to work on a quality school plan. Um, and it's really the plan that will guide the work of a school over the next two years. We are looking to get to a 95% student or better student attendance rate this uh, coming year. So we're working with families as well as our broader school community on initiatives to support students and motivate them to want to be here every day on time. Um, we have a reward system set up for our students who are doing very well. They're carrying a calendar with them. They get a sticker every day that they're here on time. We're also working with our community partners. We're very um, strong partners to the Boston Celtics program, um, the Stay in School initiative. Teachers are talking about the attendance. We've talked to all of our parents at open houses and sent information home to them about that. And as they come into our building, they will be talked to by teachers, school administrators, everyone about, you know, great job. I'm noticing you're bringing your kid in here at 8 o'clock every day to take advantage of the breakfast because we open at 8 for the uh, breakfast program, but the building opens officially 8.30 for learning. Uh, my name is Ivana Otero Donovan. I'm uh, the visual arts specialist of the King. I uh, came here uh, as part of the merger um, but um, since 08. And um, my role here basically is uh, to teach um, all the students, K-8, um, art. And um, what I enjoy the most about what I do, first of all, I love what I do. Um, I love the energy that the kids bring into my classroom, the fact that they're so talented and um, to a certain extent, you know, they have been uh, unexplored, undiscovered. Uh, and that's one thing that, you know, people underestimate. These children have a lot of talent uh, because they have backgrounds, you know, and, and so because of that, they bring a lot into their designs, into anything that I ask. In terms of um, uh, what I do, I just enjoy it. It's just my passion and therefore um, I see it as my role, you know, to transfer that to them. Um, and it's my obligation, you know, I enjoy the arts. I know a great deal about the artists, about um, backgrounds about everything and so uh, it's something that I want to pass on to my students. What I find unique about this school in particular is the fact that we, we are a very close community. It's a big school but it's a close community. The teachers communicate. Um, the students can relate to each one of the, uh, the teachers. Uh, one thing is because it's a K-8, through I literally know every single student from K-0 all the way to 8th grade and um, all the teachers, you know, they when the, as they walk around the, uh, in the hallway or something, um, the kids respect them and they address the teachers with the same respect and manner as any homeroom teacher. Uh, my name is Richard Stasinski. I'm the Early Childhood Strand Specialist here at the Martin Luther King K-8 School. Some of the unique features here at the King include one of the largest early childhood programs in Boston Public Schools. As part of that, our team was really looking for ways in which we could increase the rigor and quality of our early childhood program. So we approached the district about becoming accredited by the NAEYC Accreditation Board, which is a national standard board that sets high expectations for early childhood education. And we have just begun the rigorous and intensive process that'll take us about three years to complete.
One thing that I find is that people really recognize the excellence of our early childhood program here at the King once they come and visit. Some parents may not have chosen the King as their first choice, and when they receive their King assignment, they come out and visit the school and are so surprised by the great quality that they are so glad that their child was assigned to this school and are not apprehensive about the King once they've actually come and seen the rigor and quality that we have here in our early childhood program. First of all, I like to say that being at the Martin Luther King School for me is really a great honor because I grew up sort of in the South during the Civil Rights Movement when there were a great deal of social tensions in our nation. So being here, again, is an honor to work and to work here because I believe strongly that the children have become benefactors of the hard work he has put forth as an instrument for social justice. So children need to know that. And they need to be able to realize, realize that they are benefactors of the hard work that many, many, many African Americans and all Americans have put forth in this country. When we're reading literature and looking at literature, I sort of infuse as much as what we do in the world into that so children can walk away with an understanding of what their responsibilities are as citizens, first of all. Secondly, that they have solid skills to go with that. What's new here at the uh, Martin Luther King School is a new assessment system. It's called Achievement Network. And what parents probably don't know is that we are able to monitor student progress in mathematics and in ELA based on credible, it, credible instructions along with assessments that look at how well students are learning and then once they're assessed we can go back and reteach to make sure that students here at the King are on course in terms of looking at doing well on the MCAS tests. So we invite folks to come on out, join us. Um, actually have a funny story to tell. I had a parent come in this summer. I was working in my office as a new principal in August and uh, the doorbell rang. Um, and as they went to the doorbell, the parents said, you know, my child's been assigned here to the King School, and I have to tell you honestly, I'm not sure if I want to send them. Um, as I uh, talked with others, they said, why would you send your kid to the King? And in talking with that parent and taking her for a tour of the building, um, looking into the 12 early childhood classrooms that we have here in the building, and this parent was actually sending her child into kindergarten, and looking through those classrooms, she loved what she saw just from the physical plans of the building and how we set the building up for learning. And then she came back for our popsicles with the principal event that we did over the summer, where we had an opportunity for the teachers to meet school administration as well as to network with the teachers. And she told me, Ms. Pottinger, I'm sending my daughter to the King School.